357 sig versus nine millimeter i still get a lot of comments nowadays even that the 357 sig is more like a gimmick and that the nine millimeter is just as good or just as powerful as long as it's a plus p or it's a plus p plus or something like that so what i want to do is put this to rest we're going to do the best i can with this test and try to be as fair as possible by comparing nine millimeter plus p plus to 357 sig with extreme defender bolts from underwood same barrel length five inch barrel mnp pistols here 90 grain bullets so same bullet weight same barrel travel all of that so our 357 SIG is a 90 degree extreme defender rated at 1700 feet per second. Our 9mm is a plus P plus 90 degree extreme defender rated at 1550 feet per second. So, judging by their ratings there, I would say that the 9mm uh, plus P plus is not just as powerful as the 357 SIG, but I suppose it's possible that it's just as good in some respect if we take the entire process into consideration of you know, recoil and all of that and maybe the nine millimeter will do just as good but it's certainly not just as powerful so underwood really pushes their ammo so i think this is the, a really fair way to do this so we're going to see what we get in five inch pistol so we're going to go through the chronograph see what kind of velocity and accuracy we get at the same time then i'm going to do my 10 percent clear ballistic test so we're going to go into plain clear ballistics to see what the best potential is of those cartridges and after that i'm going to do more of a real world simulation i normally put denim on the front of here but we're not going to need that because we're not testing hollow points after three inches of clear ballistics to represent hitting our pectoral muscle we're going to have a quarter inch medium density fiberboard to represent hitting ribs or sternum and we'll compare the cartridges in more of a real world simulation here then i'm going to shoot at my steel i think i'm just going to go back real far with this just to try to see you know how fast those bullets will hit from a distance uh, you know those are five inch pistols they're pretty accurate so i just want to see how they compare so well, let's get started with this test all right i'm about five yards from the target four yards from the chronograph let's see what we get with our nine millimeter plus p plus 90 grain rated at 1550 feet per second so let's see how close we get to that with our nine millimeter plus p plus Fifteen seventy two. Fifteen seventy two. nice 1602 1540 1531 so that's about rated velocity that's pretty good interesting the way it's cutting through that target uh, next up we have our 357 sig this is rated at 1700 feet per second let's see what we get with this 1771 1747, 1737, 1754, and 1749. So that one's a little bit above rate of velocity. And yeah, we got a couple hundred feet per second more with that 357 SIG, which isn't surprising. So let's hit our ballistics gel block with these and see what we get. And one more thing, I've always thought it was kind of interesting that people would say 9mm plus P+, plus, which has about the same pressure as a 357 SIG, would be just as good when the case is longer and fatter with the 357 SIG, same pressure, more powder capacity. But to each his own. Let's hit our ballistics shell block. All right, 9mm plus P+, plus, best potential. Let's see what we get. All right, let's try 357 SIG now. 357 SIG, let's see how that compares. Take a look. All right, so there's some differences there. Now, when I look at this, I could almost say here, Maybe our 9mm is quote-unquote better because we didn't get over penetration. But when we look at the 357 SIG, there's a massive amount of damage in there. So what we're looking at here with our 9mm, I'm going to say that's pretty ideal penetration. We're looking at about 19 inches of penetration. We have a little a few different spots here where there's potentially tumbling or just bullet damage and whatnot. 
um, from the flutes, and it looks pretty good. Now with our 357 SIG, there's significantly more damage in here, right here, and right here, and right here. The bullet's backwards, so we have a lot of tumbling and destabilization, and we went to a penetration, which some people would consider over penetration, at about, right about 23 inches. I would not necessarily consider that extreme over penetration just because clear gel is less dense than real gel. Something like that might be 20 inches in organic gel. So it's not too bad. And I don't necessarily take this into consideration 100% because real world we have bones and whatnot that can affect things. So let's put on our rib simulation and see how they compare that way. All right, a quarter inch medium density fiber board. Let's see how our nine millimeter does. Try our 357 SIG now. All right, 357 SIG, quarter inch MDF. See how this does. Let's go take a look. All right, one more. I saw that coming. You know, I'm trying to get those shots high so they're in a different channel, not covering the clear, <clears throat> the clear gel channel. I thought it might go out of the block, and it did. So one more. Now let's go take a look. All right, one more. I'm gonna beat this thing to death. I want to hit one. That one hit the other bullet. Let me try one more. Let's see if we caught a good penetration now with that. All right, so you can see why I had to do that. The first shot there, it knocked that nine millimeter shot. Um, hit kind of hit in the back of it there. Um, so what we're looking at here, nine millimeter was this shot down here. And I, yeah, it's this one right here. It is at about 17 inches. So that's a pretty good penetration. A lot of damage through there. A 357 SIG, little more damage on this one that went out, and that went out about where the 357 SIG uh, shot right here landed at about 22 and a half inches of penetration. So what I'm seeing from this is our 9mm is more textbook when it comes to not getting over penetration, but our 357 SIG with that same bullet weight is penetrating deeper, which makes sense. We're not going to get an expansion. The extra energy's got to do something, and if it's not expanding out and slowing down, it's just going to simply go deeper. So, it looks like our nine millimeter did perfect. Our three fifty seven did as good, more power, more more energy dump, but just penetrated a little bit deeper. So, if you have a need for something that, that you want a little more penetration on, it looks like our three fifty seven sig is kind of in between. Like nine millimeter would be a pretty good round for just personal defense. Three fifty seven sig, it looks like you know. That would be better for woods walking, where you might see a big animal, but also good for self-defense and potentially greater through a hard barrier. So that's what you get with that. Now let me shoot at my steel and see what kind of practical accuracy I can get. All right, I pulled out these bullets here, and these are all 90 grain, but you know, the 357 SIG uses a slightly different bullet than our nine millimeter. It's just the way it's designed is slightly different. It's kind of hard to see from here, uh, but what you have with the nine millimeter is that those flutes are a little bit longer with the nine millimeter and a little bit shorter with the 357 SIG over here. Our bases look the same, pretty much. Um, the nose on the nine millimeter has a slightly convex tip. The tip on the 357 SIG is completely flat. And that makes sense because this is obviously optimized to get to the penetration depths we got to. And if this were also convex, this would probably over penetrate. So it's interesting that it's the same bullet weight, but there are slight differences in those bullets. So when we look at Lehigh making these bullets, they're not just pumping out one thing. They're putting in a little bit of effort here to, to, to have slightly different things going on for different needs and purposes. So obviously no expansion with any of those other than, you know, damage on the back from 
bullets impacting each other where I had to make those extra shots. But overall, pretty interesting there. All right, 75 yards from the target. Why not, you know, backing up to a little bit of a distance gives me some challenge. And we know that these five inch pistols shoot pretty good at close range. This has historically been a little more accurate than this uh, 40 here, uh, but we'll see what we get from 75 yards. Plus hitting that steel with solid copper, uh, not so good. So let's see what we can get here, nine millimeter. All right, so I had to aim just a little bit high and a little bit to the um, to the to the right, so they're hitting a little bit low left. You saw there was a spot on my um, target there. I took a shot and we saw that it was um, a little bit off. So, and then I had an issue where I accidentally put a 357 Sig in my nine mil mag. And it wasn't going in, so I was like, "What is going on?" <laughs> That's the thing with having two identical pistols. So I just started over with uh, shooting from 75 yards. So 357 SIG should be theoretically moving a lot faster. We had one in there. So I'm not really sure what the point of aim is on this, where we're going to hit. But uh, point of impact, I should say. Let me just aim center and see what we get. That last one I pulled a little bit. I think I might have grazed something. Um, just aim dead center with that. And, and that's one thing here. I've had some issues with bullets like this <clears throat> in 380 ACP is once we get out to distances like this, they'll, they'll fly off, they'll sling off in some weird direction because the momentum and the way these bullets are designed just aren't perfect. But what I'm seeing here is more velocity and these matter a lot. And when we go up to 9mm plus P plus, we're hitting up to 1,500 feet a second. What I am seeing here is that it corrects a lot of that, but I still had to aim way up and way to the right to hit center. With the 357 SIG hitting over 1,700 feet per second, I'm seeing at 17 yards, we're not, or at 75 yards, we're not seeing a shift. So these are very velocity based. So I am going to say now 100%, you know, if, if, if you want to use a woods load and you're thinking nine millimeter plus P versus 357 SIG, yeah, 357 SIG is going to do a lot better. And it's going to do a lot better at distance than nine millimeter because these bullets really start to, once they get out there, they start to wobble around or something like that. But at 1750 feet a second, not, not as big of a problem. So I will reassess my recoil. Felt like I said before, felt like it was shooting a nine millimeter plus P out of the 40 and the three and then it felt like a 380 out of the nine millimeter i will say it, it felt like a 380 out of the nine millimeter the, the 357 sig felt a little more pushed than the nine millimeter but it's maybe like a standard pressure 40 is what it felt like you know not a significant difference at all if you don't recall if you ever even shot one 357 mag through a full-size gun i mean this is less than half the recoil than that with this 357 sig yet we're getting 357 mag power so overall a pretty good choice so i'm going to say both of these um did pretty well are you know it's one of those things where i'm going to say a nine millimeter one textbook wise in the gel it didn't over penetrate but really in the real world here our 357 sig one you know you're going to say oh you got over penetration it could pass through a bad guy and hit somebody in the like the likelihood of that happening is very rare and even if it passed through somebody i've done tests like this you know the bullets going through what would 
equate to a representation representation of a man which is you know over 18 inches of jaw once it goes through a lot of times you're talking 200 feet per second if it hits somebody on behind that probably bounce off their sweatshirt so 357 sig won this without a doubt just just a really awesome round so that's what you get today i am impressed with this ammo and these pistols and does the nine millimeters it just i'll do the arm is it just as good as 357 sig no <laughs> is it just as powerful no is it pretty good and is it nearly as good and and is going up to a 357 sig kind of not worth it sometimes i'll admit to that yeah you could probably take care of the job with the nine millimeter there's not a lot the nine millimeter wouldn't take care of that somehow that 357 sig would but the 357 SIG is doing it better. So that's what you get today. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.